14 points for an open class came about in a similar way that the five tenets came. David and I kind of innately knew how to teach a well-rounded class, a class that would include uh, various elements that when you were done with that class, you felt transformed and you felt ready for anything. We thought that we could just teach by example and not say, hey, you have to include Surinamaskar, you know, standing asanas, forward bendings, twists, back bends, inversions, um, some philosophical talk based on the focus of the month, meditation, um, etc. We just thought if we did it, we could lead by example. But I guess our subtle approach <laughs> wasn't being too, way hurt. Too, way too subtle, I guess. Wasn't being hurt. And um, so power can corrupt. And so some of the teachers who were teaching at the school, unfortunately, they were taking advantage of the position and um, let's just say not teaching well-rounded classes. And so we had to just uh, put it in writing. Hey, you got to include these things. And we gave the timings too, you know, so, uh, and that's how that came about.